Welcome to the Living Memory of the X-Men. This is 1407 Gray Malkin Lane. Today we're doing Chopping It Up or the AKPC. The, we haven't been here <laughs> the last couple of weeks. Like it was on me. They were ready. They were waiting on me. Um, yeah, I had, I had stuff I had to do. But I'd like to introduce Silver and MJ. Come on in, fellas. Welcome. How's it going? And, you know, it's good. It's good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> okay. So where do you guys want to start? Because there's been a lot. But I think the top thing we got to talk about, the one, the, the thing that, the news that we heard yesterday. Yes. X-Men the Animated Series is coming back Ooh. in this time, in two years. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's the one about it. You think there's any chance that's what leads to mutants in the MCU? They get brought in? Do they get brought in via, via the cartoon? <laughs> the final episode, did they get brought into the live action? <laughs> right, you know, man. That I don't know. You know what? With uh, with what they're doing with like, with, with, sorry, with what they did with Loki, they, they might as well just be like, oh, this is the cartoon verse. And then boom, live action. Like, I imagine them like something happens and all of a sudden we see them in like live action and like real people. And how yeah, crazy they, that would be. They use the cartoon and they, they use the cartoon as like they reference the cartoon in, in the uh, MCU. Like, hey, remember the time the signals came through? Yeah, that was crazy. That was a cartoon. Right. Doesn't matter. I mean, well, then again, they have to read like they'll have to rewrite it because, um, like, don't forget pretty much everything in um, pre pre pretty much everything in the uh, and the cinematic universe happens because of Iron Man. So, Iron Man would have made like Iron Man would have made Sentinels and that and the X Men verse. <laughs> that, that makes sense. I mean, he did. <laughs> He did in the regular one. Right. I'm not saying he did it, but he had to look at the plans. Trask. <laughs> Trask. Instead, instead of Baltimore Trask, it's, it's uh, Tony Stark. <laughs> hey, they were buddies. They were roommates. I, I believe that. I, like, yeah, I can yeah. see that. I can totally see that happening. He's like, oh, yeah, so Trask was cool. Yeah. I haven't seen anything on it. Is it like a new season, or are they just re-releasing it? It's a, it's, no, it's, a, it's a continuation. So the literally the last episode of... Okay. So... So literally the last episode of X-Men the Animated Series, like I believe Charles Xavier had some kind of disease and like he actually got picked up by Lalandra and they went to uh, the Shi'ar hey, Empire. Awesome. So it should technically pick up from there. Right. right. Voice actors, would that be a problem? Uh, psych the one for Cyclops yes. died. But of course I he passed away, yes. Both, like, both, both, as, both, both the voice actor for Cyclops in the Animated Series and the, and the voice actor for Cyclops in uh, X-Men Evolution have passed away. And I really, like, I was like, damn it, that sucks. Oh yeah, it's intentional. You better watch out for that uh, Wolverine and the X Men guy. I know Wolverine the X Men. I gotta look for him. <laughs> like, look, put like put a bubble around him. Like, <laughs> leave Scott Nolan alone. <laughs> now, with that, I am curious because don't forget, like, like one of like Iceman, like they Iceman is in that show. I wonder if, if I wonder if they're going to make the comic change to Iceman and this uh, and the uh, cartoon. I you know what I I want to yeah. see I want to see. I mean, if they're gonna use everything, I mean, they're gonna like. Are they gonna make it? Make it a bigger cast? Are they gonna bring in like? I, I just want to know how they're gonna do it. Yeah, that's a continuation. Like I said, I don't know. Like, it, there's many places they could go. Maybe if they want to go exactly from like the Jim Lee era to like maybe somewhat like the Grant Morrison era, that'd be interesting to do. Ooh, uh, we get Beak Angel. <laughs> I am worried about the graphics. I want if it was newer graphics, I think more people would be willing to join. Yeah, I think it should be good. I mean, like Marvel isn't known for their animation, but like they'll just go out and buy somebody for like for that. So I am I am curious what kind of animation they're gonna do. That's like one of the few things that DC has over Marvel. Sorry guys, I'm a Marvel fan, but I'm just gonna say it. But that's one of the few. Hey, look at this. Hey, the Horsemen have arrived. <laughs> we have united. I know what everybody looks like now. I feel like this. War. Full <laughs> alive. You are war. <laughs> we already got you all exposed. We are, the, we are the four comic tears. <laughs> right. And only we know what AKPC stand for. <laughs> right. Man, I, I really wish all of our names could actually like like yeah. be an acronym for that, but like it just didn't work out that way. <laughs> hey. I mean uh, there's no I I, I know I probably missed a lot, but did you guys all see those tiny little teaser crumbs that we got 
for like Moon Knight, She Hulk, everybody. Right. Oh, I, I, I got I got freaking trolled hard though. Yeah. I was watching them all right, and then somehow I I, I was I clicked on the wrong one, and I watched a fan edit. <laughs> oh, I got I got trolled. You right. can't I, thought, I thought I thought Daredevil showed up in She Hulk for like five <laughs> hours. Hey, that may happen. We don't know. All right. Like, I, all right, after after Spider Man, we'll have a, an idea of what's going to happen. Yeah. Hopefully. I thought one that about Eternals, though, but. Now, was, you know. wasn't one of them, like, wasn't one. Okay, first of all, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just like I said before, I'm not going to watch all these freaking Marvel shows. Like, sure. that's not going to happen. Who can? Who can? Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I, who the fuck asked for Echo? <laughs> who the fuck asked for. No. You know, who the fuck asked for Loki? No, I asked. No, everybody, everybody else asked for Loki. I didn't care about Loki. I didn't really ask for Loki. You, um, you know so the universe is going to shit on us if, if they give Echo the Phoenix juice. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! That's how they bring in the like that like that's how they bring in the X Men via Echo. It's like, hey, this is there's this entity called the Phoenix. Yeah, she's the first Phoenix. Yeah. Damn you, Jason you know Aaron! Oh, even and I, let me be fair, I have not watched the movie yet, so I'm ready for everyone to troll me in the comments. And then it turns out that the Phoenix was an Eternal, and then like <laughs> yeah, like Angelina Angelina Jolie created the Phoenix. Oh yeah. God! You see her being like a crazy celestial, like. <laughs> The mad celestial. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, okay, so um where oh Corey, welcome. Yes. All right, so where it's been a couple of weeks, gentlemen. Where where do we start? I say we start I say we start with the worst comic, which is Excalibur, and then we go to the best comic, which is like right now. I'm kidding, but um... <laughs> I thought the worst comic was Trial of Magneto. No, it's Wolverine. <laughs> I skipped half of Wolverine. I skipped so much of it. Yeah, that art is kind of nothing bad. happened. It was just uh, half of it wasn't even Wolverine. It was the CIA dude. He's just so boring. Well, I mean, he was set up in the first issue, so like I wouldn't be surprised if it was like if it's like like a um, a Christopher Priest kind of thing where like oh we're going to say it's Wolverine or Black Panther, but it's actually about uh about not Ever Ross. What's it? Yeah, but it's, it's actually about Ever Ross. Like he's the main character, even though not not really, but. Uh, <laughs> So I mean, but like I, I I get just I get I get frustrated. It's called Wolverine, so you kind of would say you want some Wolverine and, and Wolverine comic. I, I get that. Oh, we, we had my theory. No, that's not worth it. Never mind. No, 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 no. This is a safe yeah. space. Yes. Uh, Wolverine got Gene and Storm sloppy drunk. They were not <laughs> drunk, man. Like, like, like you, you, well, you never been to a karaoke? People just act that way. And the fact, yeah. Silver, you okay? The fact that Gene and Storm sang "Unbreak My Heart" by Tony Braxton says they listen to '90s R&B. That just means I know good music. <laughs> there we go. I'm pretty I'm sure. Solid. I'm pretty sure they've been in the car together, listening to TLC together. Look, all I know is if like if I like if I ask Jane like what's one of her favorite '90s songs, she says "Summer Rain" by Carl Thomas. That's when I know that she's a fan because that's like that's a deep cut right there. That's like <laughs> that's or, what I know. But or or if you ask Storm what who's her favorite uh, singer now, and she says Aaliyah, like okay, it's done. Singer now, I know, right? <laughs> she uses <laughs> she would say something like she would like. Cause that's no offense to Storm, but she is like one of those people. Like I'm gonna put myself on a pedestal, man. Like be like this unattainable kind of um, this unattain this unattainable kind of goal. So she would say someone that's like you know like like that's posthumously great. So so she would totally do that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or but she would say I do like Frank Ocean though. Yeah, that's fine. Oh um, um, what's call it? Uh, Black Panther was singing Nikes by Frank Ocean, and I, I I forgot what comic it was, but he was singing that. Storm caught him singing it, so I thought that was nice. Good. Oh, this and, I mean, and, and I mean, and I mean, Black, like Black Panther. Hmm? There is one thing that they're kind of doing in the Wolverine comic that I find kind of dangerous is that they're singing and they're drinking, and they're using their powers all at once. It's like, uh, oh, oh. like, like shooting their powers around while singing. I just feel like they're gonna hurt someone. It's no more dangerous than uh, what's called it, than when uh, they were playing uh, Suicide Roulette. <laughs> with the book at uh with uh it was what it was wolverine uh and bacon, bacon and yeah. in fact and honey Bodger was there too funny enough yeah, yeah. That's, that's wolverine i think well, we can expect yeah. wolverine to do stupid things right well yeah and gene was like saying can you do some more respectable parental bonding no 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 no, no, no. that's not what she said she said like 
do you have to do that? He's like, hey, this is our way of cold blowing off Steve. Like, right. I don't like, I don't want to hang out with you, Wolverine. That's <laughs> right. Even, even though even though they like literally have they don't share a bedroom but they share like corridors to each other. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yes, they're enabling the home the homeless man from actually dealing with his family. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> he's because because uh, let me tell you, if Wolverine, if um, any of his kids came into the situation, he's like, oh my god, Dad, Wolverine be like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, that's how we're doing it. <laughs> that's how we're doing it. Uh, yeah. so. Then we had, uh, then we had in one of the previous issues of X Men by Mister Dugan, yeah. uh, Nightmare came to visit Scott and Jean and got an uh, intruder alerted, if you will. Yes, a lot of people. A lot of people got upset that Gene was able to take on Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, and Bill was. Yeah, and Bill was saying in his review, like it wasn't clear to me on whether Nightmare was like feeding off of the nightmares or mm-hmm. like making the nightmares flare up, if if you will. Oh, uh, we could talk about that, but that's kind of going back to uh, yeah. that's in this batch of comments. Oh yeah, yeah that is true. Well, I mean, we, it, it's been a little bit. Like I said, I definitely want to talk about Inferno because I, I actually, I, I won't say I actually enjoyed, but I really enjoyed that one. But there is some other stuff that we got. You want to get like, a little out of the way, and then we can move oh, on let's, to. Oh, uh, let's get. Oh, let's get that. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> um, Excalibur. Heard, it's pretty disappointing, the Silver, that you don't like it. I think if it was, <laughs> would you like a like Krakoa versus like Russia? Would you like that? No, I'm just trying to, like, the, the premise of Excalibur, I mean, like I said, the premise from Excalibur to begin with was kind of like, it just kind of seemed like, oh, this is going to be the Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain book. And if you were for that, then that, that'd be great for you. But if you were against that, then it wouldn't be for you. Clearly, I was against that because I still say one of the dumber things that Marvel has done is split up Psylocke and make, like, Quan and Psylocke and Betsy Braddock, uh, Captain Britain. I legit, I still think they should have been one person or one entity because they literally were one person. That was more interesting to me. That's one of the few that I mean, like that's one of those comic-y things that you can do um in the medium. So, but then like I was a little bit interested in it because of like the people they chose, Rogan Gambit and Richter. Love me some Richter. Uh, Jubilee. Jubilee was there, Shogo. I mean, I was curious what they did with Shogo too. They they did rewrite what he was because he because for a long time it was a, it was understood that well, I, 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 I won't say a long time, but for a, a good while. Richter, I'm not Richter, uh, Shogo was seen as just a, a human child. And he actually joined the X-Men later and in and, and the future. Right. And he had, and he became like, uh, I think it was like Sentinel X, funny enough. And yeah, and um, it, it was basically like a glorified Iron Man armor. But then, no, it turns out that he actually, no, he actually is a mutant. He has powers. No, like, oh. No, no, he's not a mutant yet. He's just, all children in other world are more powerful and something to do with him makes him a dragon. It's not really explained it's over well. He's, he's, some, he's something beyond human. No, it's... it's Kidnapped. It's really been explained that because he's an infant, he imagined himself to be a dragon, so when he came to the other world, he became a dragon, and now they're just sticking with it. It was no, kind of a hokey there. reason. I didn't think it would be permanent while he's in the other world, but it seems to be permanent when he's in the other world. Right. I, so anyway, I, so I, 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 I went a little bit off, but yeah, that's why, but like, there's not really a lot, maybe if they just kind of cranked up the D&D, like with that, like, I mean, cause like, uh, Richter's supposed to be a druid, he's not, he's not really druid-like, honestly, but he, they, that's just, that's just kind of like what he's supposed to be, but like, if they kind of rank, cranked up that kind of stuff, they just kind of went full-on paladin with Captain Britain, they just kind of like went full-on, just like full-on just roles that people are in D&D, maybe I'll, maybe I'll jump back on it, but yeah, like I said, I'm not really into it. And like I said, it does. It feels like filler to me, and I'm like, I got enough. To, New Mutants is, is my filler book for X Men. Like I'm gonna read that till You're I right, die. But you, mm-hmm. even the idea, like an a, a war, doesn't excite you. No, no, we no, so we like, done work. For, like, see, uh, Imp- Secret Power Empire was a, a, that doesn't excite you at all. Uh, not not Secret Empire. A- Empire was a war, honestly. I'm gonna be like, no, it was a battle. It was an attack. <laughs> We're building up in the X Men comics and the X Force comics a, a war with Russia. That's not exciting you. No, well, no and also we, the vampires. Already, no, because we've seen. No, I would say once again, no, I don't see that as fascinating because, like, we've already seen. We've already seen, like, based off of uh, House of X and uh, Powers of X. We, we've already seen, like, 
the final, like the final outcome of, of a giant ass war. And so I'm like, okay, you can't really talk that right now. Like, so whatever war you're doing right now, I'm, I'm sorry. I've seen like a good cusp of what I want to see. Oh, yeah. But, okay, but like what I will say this about Excalibur. It's weird that it's only them that are fighting against this. Like, it's not it's not that big of a deal to the rest of Krakoa. It's just like, okay, this is an Excalibur mm-hmm. thing. They're not dealing with it. Yeah, that's I don't know. That's kind of, yeah. Also, I don't like, like the... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. As I said, like, that's, that, that's kind of like the isolatedness, honestly, because like the same thing is kind of happening in like what X-Force is dealing with. The same thing is kind of happening a little bit when X-Factor, even though technically speaking, it, like X-Factor has bled over into the Tribe Magneto book. So they are some, like different teams are somewhat teaming up with each other, but it still is, it is like, it, it, it is very much an X-Factor book that just has the X-Men uh, tagging along to it. So It's a little worse in one element because like there was a white page. So we know the new mutants have gone to other world previously. And yeah. they've been to the Fey Republic and they've seen the horrible condition that the, the fairies live under, under Merlin. And they basically just left and all they did was send an email to Excalibur asking Excalibur to do something about that. So basically putting on Excalibur, freeing all the Fey's themselves. So the five-man team has that entire... I, I, I don't know what I don't know what the New Mutants did. I don't know what they... It's, the new mutants didn't care and they just left whatever fine they didn't care they left but then why send an email to a five-man team to deal with it that just seems like if, if you want to deal with it go help them or or don't it, i don't know uh, maybe it's just uh, delegation like similar to like when uh in the new minutes book when uh moonstar said hey these like these kids could really like you know use some extra extracurricular activity and uh as as well as some therapy and then xavier just sent back thank you for volunteering <laughs> right no, i get that it's kind of like uh you came to you came to us with a problem you can come up with a solution because we don't know it right you do so so I just actually think, it was holding a five-man crew it was like a it was a family day <laughs> mostly braddocks <laughs> oh uh, i did just imagine, just imagine the x-men seeing all the fairies tied up and it's just leaving not doing anything about it oh, oh, oh we, i mean the entire population is we're, we're not going to do anything. That's not our arc. Well, and, uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, the thing is, they are human. I mean, they would just be just like the Avengers. Say, so, like, hey. And to be fair, and to be fair, that's not like that. That's not a fair comparison. But, but, but like, remember, like, they're Krakoans. Like, they made a big like because they made a big deal in saying, "Well, Cyclops made a big deal because Cyclops is fucking awesome." Cyclops made a big deal in saying, "Hey, we're heroes." So I have to like. So the X Men like are like they have to be outside Krakoa so that's why I'm even stepping down so Krakoans which are which is also the new mutants they're still Krakoan so they might see that and be like oh that's messed up but hey I'm Krakoan but the X-Men they can do something but what if the X-Men defend all allied kingdoms and Avalon is an allied kingdom they have Uh, fairly the the X-Men or or Krakoa uh the X-Men wouldn't they defend all allied kingdoms or even Krakoa I guess too yeah I don't the know. Like that would be that'd be interesting to see. Like I don't know so far has like I, I don't know so far if Krakoa has like gone out of their way to like defend another um to, to like defend another like ally nation. But like that's the uh the interesting thing is that they wouldn't be able to because of their rule hurt no humans or kill no humans. So they couldn't even do that. They'd have to like help them via like uh like sanctions and stuff like that. They technically shouldn't be able to like help like send allies to like fight the AF force because that's still human and that's breaking the rule well there's a caveat though, that you can for self-defense there is that caveat but also mm-hmm. i think another thing with that is the um the x-men in new york they're kind of i i say what it is they are a pr stunt they are to make <laughs> humanity not so like hey mute Krakoa has their own superheroes too so we're not a, right, like they they are they are a distraction. Especially with Captain Krakoa coming out soon. Oh, God. I, all right. Does anybody know? I think I already know who it is. It is all right. It, it, we already know who it is. Guess? It's that guy, Fei Long. Because remember, the, uh, he said he changed his skin in order to, uh, to withstand um, uh, the atmosphere on Mars. And if you see all the guy's skin, right. it's pink. All this is a part of the plan. Could be him. I thought like I thought I definitely thought it was Cyclops, and it turns out nope. It looks like it's not him. I'm like, well, 
Yeah, because Cyclops, because because Cyclops piss. Yeah. <laughs> We know Xavier and Magneto, they feel like they're losing right now. So I'm thinking oh, maybe Xavier decides he needs to take up an extra role. Mm-hmm. And so maybe Xavier decides he needs to be Captain Kokoa. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Moira feels like she's losing. Moira. Moira. Like, by extension. Magneto's like, okay, I'm cool with, okay, you know, that's Inferno. We're, we're going to get to that later. Inferno. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically all I have about the Excalibur comic. It, I really like that they established some lines. The white page made it more confusing what Otherworld looks like. I was really hoping for an updated depiction of what the Otherworld looks like. But we got the lines drawn. That's cool. The ending is a bit weird. Um, we, it's not an ending. Yet. It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> so a couple Captain Britons died. In their universes, does that mean someone else has to be Captain Britons? I guess technically speaking, if they want to, if they if they want to continue with her, they might just be Captain Britain less for a little bit, or they may, be, or it may be like the Captain Brit, or maybe like the Green Lantern Corps, and somebody else just, oh, uh, kind of like you said, like somebody's gonna take up the mantle. Yeah. Oh, well, Merlin owns the Citadel now, and it's called the. Uh... Merlin's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, um, I don't like this version. It's like. I don't know how DC's Merlin's gonna yeah. end up because Ron <laughs> B's ending that really soon, and I don't, I don't like either of, of these Merlins. Why? Right, I know yeah. it must like like uh yeah Marlin DC must have had like a sit down and be like okay, so we're so we're in agreement. Both Merlins are dicks. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Like keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Extension Arthur is too. I'm like wow. Teeny Howard yeah. hates Arthur. <laughs> She must have really hated the sword and stone as a kid. That's yeah, what I got. Really, she must be inspired by uh, the once and future. <laughs> like by, uh, was it, is it, is it uh, Gillen? Kieran Gillen. Yeah, it's Gillen. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily true because they, ex- they explained in this comic that Camelot historically has been a place for everyone, for aliens, for mutants, for humans, for everyone. Um, and that means it was under Arthur's rule that it was for everyone, right? Technically speaking, it depends on like propaganda. Well, that's the big thing about, but, but yeah, but, but that's the big thing about Arthur because he's called the once and future king, but there was like a king in between that. So maybe like maybe during that time it was for everyone, and then he came back and he's like, What is this? <laughs> Get out of my house. Oh, like, you also, got your aliens and my humans. <laughs> also, MJ, I was looking, I was, uh, I remember what you said about the map about other world and like how there's only one portal to get to earth yes you're right but there is a portal to get to krakoa so like there's that that whole that whole map is really confusing but like apparently you have to get through krakoa in order to get to earth except for the lighthouse but not a lot of people know about that lighthouse and that's krakoa as well it's are you you suggesting Uh, that Kakor and Portal Flowers work in other world? Yes. Lighthouse from from that magnet. You guys hear me? Uh, no. We, I think we can hear you now, though. Right. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I told you. I told you. Uh, I think I was. Uh, when he said said the lighthouse, are, are you talking about the lighthouse from the uh, the giant size Magneto comic? No, no, no. I'm talking okay. about the, um, the lighthouse uh, that the Braddocks own. That's oh, that's, oh okay, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Caliber Lighthouse. Uh, right. Was that maybe that's been established now re- since X of Swords that portals work in other world? But at the end, of, I remember going back and rereading all of X of Swords, and at the very end, they made it explicitly clear that the only access point to other world from Earth is the lighthouse. So maybe from Earth, maybe that's not implying Krakoa. Maybe Krakoa is another access point. But that was explicitly stated. So maybe that is changing, though, because yeah. I could see it. But the, the external gate was destroyed. Right. It, it was destroyed, but, like, the, you know, that's the thing about de- um, destroying something. You can always rebuild it. That's well, correct. no, I think they, they it was destroyed, and then they used it again in... Um, in uh, when they built Mars, when they launched Araco to Mars, they used the external gate, and I think they like broke it again. Also, like, um, I'm not uh, sure how that works. <laughs> when Doctor Doom, okay, the doc, all right, 
I'm gonna have to reread that again. When Doctor Doom, uh, yeah. so I think that's all for I think that's all for Excalibur, right? Yeah, that was it. That was Excalibur. Uh, what about Doctor Doom? The Lighthouse, right? I'm gonna have to reread that. Say that again. Oh, Doctor Doom. Uh, he asked if Doctor Doom captured the Lighthouse. Sorry, say it one more time. Sorry. <laughs> Did Doctor Doom go <laughs> to the Lighthouse when he uh, got escorted by Excalibur? I'm gonna have to reread that one. Wow. See, nobody know because Doctor Doom is so insignificant. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no one say that I'm wrong. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. He had to. Like, yeah, he had to have because he went to other worlds. Yeah, he went to other so worlds. He, he went to Krakoa. He, he had to have gone through the lighthouse. He had to. Have. We, yeah. Yeah, we need a bit. Yeah, you're right. We need a better map, an updated map. But uh, okay, so the map of the world is just so stupid. It's like a pie chart. It's just so stupid. Is, am I even supposed to believe they're side by side like that? Uh, Roma's kingdom is in the sky. How is it side by side anyone anyway when you're in the sky? <laughs> no, no, no. Because it's a, it's a it's a flying fortress. That's the thing about it. it it's supposed to. Be and the implication is, like, sorry. And the implication is you could walk between them. And I don't know. Is that is that true? No, nah, I don't between think Roma so. and which wait wait between Roma and and what other place? Well, and uh, any of the kingdoms of the world. Uh, Roma is Roma is uh, ruled by Merlin's daughter, and yeah, it's weird. That whole like, yeah, weird. do you think you can walk between Avalon and say like Drydor? No, no, I think no, I think you have to go through um, other world in order to get to any other world. It's like a it's like Grand Central Station. It's a hub. It's a hub place. It's a passing. Right, but it, the, the, the way the pie chart is implying it's the other world is like a super planet. But I don't know if that's true. Is it like every kingdom of other world is like a separate realm that are so, somehow connected to each other? Or is it a super planet with like weird continents? I don't, I I don't know. I had a look at the map and now it require me now it require me to read to Excalibur. So, right. <laughs> but I have to look at the map. You've done your job, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving. All right, uh, moving on to what was the next one? X Force. X Force, I believe. X, X Force is becoming Homeland. You can't. You don't know who to trust. You what, really you don't know. You can't trust spies. <laughs> I don't trust Wolverine. Beast. Reality warping powers are so weird. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I mean, like, I all right. You guys know how I feel about uh, about Beast. He got mm -hmm. he took Wolverine's advice and took it to heart, and now look where we are. Everybody wants Beast to be the happy-go-lucky Beast, not knowing that 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 Beast was totally depressed because he didn't like his powers. But you know that's okay as long as everybody else feels good about themselves. I'm surprised Beast never tried to commit suicide. Oh wait, he did. <laughs> we just need it to pay off. We need this evil Beast to, to mean something. To to, I don't, I don't know how it's going to pay off in the end with this whole reality warping. I don't know. But the fact that Colossus is now on the Quiet Council tells me. It's, Xavier is in an on the whole Russia thing. He's yeah. He's, I mean, I guess he would have to be, but I'm not sure. Like at this point, because we just don't like, like this is like a big mess. Honestly, <laughs> even even when it comes like in, like Inferno, like it's like a lot of the no offense to like the other authors, but like it's like kind of like the other authors kind of do do their own thing, and then like Hickman comes back and like reels everything back in, <laughs> and like oh, okay, I know what's going on, and then like he'll go away for a little bit, and then like they'll do their own thing, and then he reels it back in, like. But he did. I mean, and the biggest, like, and the biggest, the biggest problem is the timeline because I just don't know what's. I just don't know when this stuff is happening. <laughs> all right, all right. Could, let's let's look at it. Trial Magneto should have been a, a weekly book. We should have that should have led right into Inferno. That yeah, that could have been something. Like it, but you know. I'm fine with them happening at the same time, but let me know they're happening at the same time. I don't feel like they're happening at the same time. Yeah, I would like to. It would definitely be like, or what? just like a, like a quick snippet would be like, oh, read like 
retry Magneto three for like like and and, and Inferno so just just to tell me like which one is like going on, right? Or, or if they're going oh. concurrently, but that's and I think that but that's more of an issue with the editor, honestly. Jordan White is a bad editor. <laughs> I want his job. <laughs> I, 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 I would I'd like his job too. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, no I, it, come on, it'd be so easy to do his job. Okay, it's like okay. This week, this is happening during this time. Like all the, if it's a two-parter, this is still happening around the same time as this. Yeah, we might, yeah. at this point, we, we might need um, like what's that thing? It wasn't, wasn't it, it, it? It wasn't Ron V. It was the other guy, uh, Tyrion. Uh, no, James. Tyrion Chin- and four. Yeah, so we like we we need those like those newsletters like from Hey Hickman to tell us what's going on. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh okay all right you know what let's talk about let's talk about inferno everything else like x-force uh we're just getting we just we just know that uh colossus has been used as a tool by his family again helen we know that havoc is being used by his brother's side piece again so you know that's all we need to know inferno and Excalibur, uh, Betsy Braddock is probably being used as a pawn or maybe a knight by Saturnine, probably. Again. Now. <laughs> Emma, Emma Frost, though, she's using everyone. She's using Cyclops, Havoc, Empath. Uh, um, she, hasn't used, she hasn't used Vulcan yet, but give it time. <laughs> time. Yeah, where the hell is he? He just, he just went. He, he, he just pieced out for a little bit. He's having uh, drunken parties on the summer house. Hung yeah, with Sway and that other girl. Oh, Petra. And Petra, yeah. Or Petra, isn't it? Petra. It's Petra. I have to go back because, like, I can't remember. That was so long ago. It was that whole thing he had with the people that were, like, talking to him in his head. Yeah. I thought they were, like, Saturnine's people or maybe something to do with that game world. The fire like, wants to be fire. <laughs> you know those people that we see attacking Earth right now from that yeah. game world? I thought yeah. maybe something to do with that, but... That is interesting. We'll I see. forgot about that. I heard like that's one of the things I wish Hickman was still around for because I want to know what do they mean with that? Like, yeah, but he like, but like he brought back a character, line I character, but he he brought back like a plot point from way back when for for Vulcan, and then like he rewrote it basically, or he retconned it to say like, no, this is what actually happened between Vulcan and and uh, I'm about to say Black Knight now uh, between Vulcan and Black Bolt and Black Bolt. There we go, and Black Bolt. Yeah, so. but, was, but I mean, like Black Bolt made it out and he was alive. So why is it, why mm-hmm. can Vulcan make it out alive? Because and, I don't know. Way more I mean, than Black Bolt. Yeah. I mean, hey, we'll see what so. happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so once again, Hickman does it again, and he reminds me, oh, this is why I'm reading X Men. This is why I'm reading these X books. Like, <laughs> man, it's man. I just as long as hey, as long as Hey, hey, excuse me. As long as he or aka Hickman is writing this, we'll be fine. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's leaving. <laughs> okay. And also, you guys heard about the ones that are coming up, right? We got de- we got Death of Wolverine, Life of Wolverine. Yes. yes. What the hell is that going to be about? It sounds honestly, it sounds very similar to what's happening in Trial Magneto with uh, Scarlet Witch. Honestly, it sounds oddly similar to what's happening. In that it's going to be exactly what we've gone since the beginning. It's just going to be be how do we make wolverine hurt more right. so gene he's gonna kill gene again again he's probably gonna kill cyclops maybe um who else is close to him <laughs> not, his not, 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 <laughs> not his children <laughs> <laughs> storm storm might be on the chopping block <laughs> How is how is Batman a better father than Wolverine is? <laughs> well, because Batman, they say what you want about Batman, but his no kill rule, like he has never killed his own son in a in a inch of water. So that's, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, but Batman, but Batman's also uh, Wolverine's also never been drugged and uh, had a kid from his uh from an ex. That's correct. That is not I, that we know of. Actually, I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that we know. Well, that has happened. He's, he was he was on like an island and some like fire people attacked him and I don't know if they drugged him but they he, they raped him. Oh well there you go. Oh so he got Cosby? Jeez. That's oh my god. <laughs> he might have a daughter that's ruling the tribe. Oh there you go. Hey hey you know what actually 
anytime Wolverine gets um, gets into a new relationship, I just feel the urge to call her next again because we all know she's gonna die savagely. Yeah, they got yeah, they're gonna die unless they have unless they have a healing factor. But how it was once established in a other world comic that Wolverine has a superpower called Super Semen. Basically, his semen is, is super. It, it can impregnate you, I guess. It can survive super long. Like it has, like his semen has like a healing factor or some shit. <laughs> what? And, uh, okay, all right. If that was the case, why didn't like? There's a bunch of women that there'd be a bunch. There's of tons of women that should just be pregnant. Right. Know, it's not six one six, but at least in one universe, that's the case. <laughs> Watch that's just like when, uh, like that's just like that story with uh, what what you call it with uh, Spider Man with Peter Parker. It turns out like he killed Mary Jane because of his radioactive sperm. So like, <laughs> so yeah. it's just like another those... reason why Jean should stay with Cyclops. It's healthier <laughs> for her. <laughs> just, I, just Wolverine's just a dick. <laughs> They, they put I, so I like the on. idea of marrying one person, but then them having like girlfriend and boyfriends. I think that's kind of next generation. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of we can get into anime. We have like the one true pairing, and then like the writers get like, oh, let's make let let's go a little adventurous and like you know have them break up a little bit, and then like have them go out with different people. But but they're but they're going to get back together because you know we can't like we like that's our bread and butter. We we we, we got to keep them together. Uh, I, I've been watching the um the first X Men movies lately. Uh, for this project mm -hmm. and right okay not only does cyclops make wolverine look like a bitch every scene that they're in together gene gray was actively giving him the doomy vibe and it's yeah. just like your your boyfriend is right there and you're husband no husband vibes? not even not even boyfriend husband like husband. you're like the the, you are stepmother to his children. <laughs> I I lean towards it's all fair in love and war, you know. It's, wow. Okay. They're both adults. I, I I don't really believe in monogamy to begin with, so I feel like the expectation is based in uh, I don't know old world sexism. So I don't know. What do you, what do you mean? What sexism is going to this? Like. They're not saying that, oh, she's the woman she deserves to be with the man. No, this is just like... Well, I think she should probably break up with her husband if he's not okay with it, but at the same time, if she falls out of love, that is okay. That's... She just, no, okay. All right, I'll well, tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it really is. Wolverine does not really want to be with Jean Grey. He just wants to stay. Yeah. And that's why I want to... That, like, any any time they used to have a character say, oh, they have this unrequited sexual tension. No, in real life, he would just wanted to smash. He did not really. Wolverine does not. He he cares about Gene, but he just wants to smash, just to get it out of his system. Because and that makes sense for Wolverine. Cat. Wolverine well, is like a beast, so it makes sense for him. But Gene, it's a little like, come on, girl, you should. Well, I think it's. Oh, well, I mean, like comic, like comic lore. Why? Well, let me be fair. First of all, those movies were like not the, like they're all right, but like they're not the best in terms of the canon. But like the big thing, I mean, I really like a lot of a lot of people didn't like Cyclops because of those movies because Brian Singer like made it like was hell bent on showing Cyclops in pretty much the worst light possible. Mm -hmm. Now really that was a worst, that was a bad light. That was a really good light yeah. for him. Like, no because like no be, no because of that I mean like they killed like he killed him off as quickly as he could. He didn't really like and, and X-Men 2 he barely got to do anything honestly. True. Uh <laughs> And X Men One, let's see. I think he like who did he find in that X Men One because because you just watched the movie. He, he no, on uh, he, well, he favorite he two. Really, yeah, um, you know he didn't really fight anybody, but he did save Wolverine's yeah. life. He blasted right, him. and like yeah. yeah. And which 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 even then that's kind of weird because later on they established that like Wolverine has like a ridiculous like a ridiculous good good healing factor. So did he even save his, his life in, in retrospect? So that's another like a big thing. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and like. Uh, pit like uh, like show every flaw of that first movie because there's a lot to go to like to, to, to like to, to go 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 with, but right. um, but like the I think a big a, a big mythology about the gene like Wolverine Cyclops thing is that like Cyclops holds back because he knows that if he has a bad day or if he like loses control that he's gonna hurt everyone right. and Gene even being even though she's, she's 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 a telepath and he's reserved she wants to see like she wants that kind of like. 
not animalism, but he, but she wants that kind of like explosion and passion out, which Wolverine does. Wolverine's problem is that he cannot hold back. Cyclops' problem is that he holds back too much. Yeah, but he, but here's the thing with with Cyclops though, like Silver, you know this. Yeah. Uh, Cyclops, he's he lets loose in very controlled ways. Cyclops has a really right. good sense of humor that no one gets. He is so dry, but what, if you if you know, like, oh, he's funny as hell. Cyclops yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that, that's just the thing about like that's just the thing about Cyclops. Like, uh, there's a reason why his mind is so appealing to psychics. Like, yeah. that's one of his. That's that's one of his like charms because his mind is so organized. Right. That many psychics find it just very like comforting. It's like wait, no, it's like. Is anytime a, a, a female telepath goes into his mind, it's like, ooh, I like this. It's all clean. The floors are vacuumed. His trauma is all nicely stored away. Like, I like this. I'm going to ruin and this, it. And, that, and this isn't like the shit on Wolverine show, because like I like Wolverine as a character, too. I like Cyclops better, obviously. But like, I just think that Wolverine is just like a quicker sell to people than Cyclops is. And I just think like particularly when it comes to the media. But once again, I, it really is Brian Singer. Brian Singer, like, did a lot of damage uh, to anyone that wasn't Mystique, Magneto, Wolverine, and sometimes Xavier, honestly. Uh, he just does a lot of, he, 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 he did a lot of damage to like, to, like, a lot of characters, particularly Rogue. Like, Rogue pretty got, got it really bad. So did Iceman. Iceman, too. Oh, I'm, Iceman I'm and Kitty Pryde. I'm a huge Wolverine fan, but even I would say like the most important character for an X-Men film is Cyclops. He is, he's I, at least for the first couple of films where he's the leader. So if you need him to be the leader. So you would want to see a moment, of course, where he does something epic with his powers, but more importantly, we need to see him lead. Right. Yeah, absolutely. It's it just, was kind of just like, uh, it was kind of just like, oh, he's a leader because we say so. He didn't really show a lot of like reason why, and like I said, and even then, like even you know, it was like yeah, it, it was an X Men three. It was like oh, like Cyclops is a like he's a changed man. Like, yeah, his wife just fucking died. Like and it's like so like I want to give you like I'm gonna give you Storm like 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 leadership. I'm like give him some time to grieve. Jesus Christ! Like, right, and it, and it seemed like Xavier was so quick to shit on Cyclops. He's like he's a changed man. Scott Jean's death hit him so hard. Like right, really. I mean, even even that line when like Cyclops, I think that was like one of the last lines he said to Wolverine. He's like, "Not everyone heals as fast as you." I'm like, "Bro, that's right. That's like that's a like that's a, a cutting line because that's true." <laughs> like I just, it, 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 I don't know. Cy Cyclops yeah. is great. Like he had a like, and also, uh, you're right, Silver. War Cyclops yeah. was a victim because um, Wolverine stole his property. Every chance he had. I won't say property now. I'm not talking like I won't call Gene his property, but he did take no, his, no, motorcycle. his motorcycle. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he did take his motorcycle. <laughs> That's not staff. That's joy That's Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> my friend. He intended to return it, so that means joyriding. Really? really? I, I would love to see that in a court of law. Hey, I left a note. Like, hey, I took this, but I'll bring it back later. That, that, well, condition. That's what he created the charge of joyriding, though, for that. Joyriding is theft. Joyriding is theft, but it's not theft permanently, so it's a little lesser. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, normally, it's normally for young people who just stole a car to like. He's not young. He's, he, he's hella old. He's, he's 200 yeah, years old. Okay. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, but, uh, I could argue affluenza. He came from I a different believe. era. <laughs> no, he knows what's wrong. <laughs> no, he, no, he, he had a smirk when he did it. He was like, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's funny, because too, because like, affluence, affluence and death didn't exist during Wolverine's time. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like that's a new concept. Time, it's, only, it's only theft if you steal a horse. This is not a horse, so it's okay. Oh, God, that's really, it, it, it faster than a horse, so like, it would be more valuable than a horse. And he had memory loss. And also, so he, he forgot all the laws. <laughs> so he didn't all know. So he didn't know that theft, like that, that the concept of stealing. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, you gotta remember in X two, it wasn't just his motorcycle that Wolverine stole. Wolverine stole uh, his stole motorcycle. car too. Yeah, he stole his car, and he was like, right. and he ruined it. Now, to be fair, now to be fair with the car, like that was an emergency because legitimately they were getting um, attacked. But he, he, but he did take his car. And he was like, okay. And he was like, nice. This is Cyclops' right. car. Nice. 
But then he outed him by uh, putting on NSYNC, knowing damn well Cyclops would not listen to NSYNC. Yeah, I know. Like, once again, like, it's just like, oh, let's, like, almost every chance. And, like, it's weird because Brian Singer is a, is a is supposed to be friends with James Marsden. It was, like, every chance he got, I'm like, I'm going to make Cyclops look like, like, like a bad person by comparison, even though Wolverine is an awful person in that movie and most of those movies. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying, though. Like, like Wolverine, is, Wolverine is the whole reason why the school got attacked in, in uh, X2. <laughs> Wolverine is also the reason why that uh, train station got blasted in uh, X1 because he stabbed Rogue in the chest. Hey, are we, are we victim blaming away. right now? Are we victim blaming? Oh, yeah. he, he's there, not- there were assassins <laughs> that were coming after him. That's not his fault. <laughs> really? Okay, oh, you're right. You're right. It's Rogue's fault. She should not go into a grown man's room who has claws in his hands having nightmares. She should have been like, yeah, no, I'm not going in there. You're right. Rogue was at fault. Rogue got her own self stabbed. That's why she got kidnapped and uh, in the road cut. <laughs> she got kidnapped. She really didn't get, and they, they were keeping her in the school too. That was weird. Like, right. Their- anyway, like we can let's like, like we can like so we can just forever. Let's go back to Inferno. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you trust well, in Destiny? <laughs> So wait, what was that? You trust uh, Destiny? No. Do you, do you trust Mystique and Destiny? Or what would Raven? Raven? No, I do not trust Destiny. I don't trust Destiny. I trusted Xavier before we found out Madeline Pryor's true goal. It seems like her true goal mm-hmm. is I I, I I feel like it's to kill mutants. I think it's to kill off the mutants. Oh, you mean Moira? Sorry, Moira. Yeah, I think yeah. Moira's true goal is to make some deal with the the robots, the the phalanx. Uh, the phalanx that will end up resulting in the death of all the mutants. That's interesting though, because like, I mean, once again, there are different timelines, but don't forget, like, one of the last mutants to survive was Wolverine somehow, and Moira, mm-hmm. and he sent her back. Yeah, and she was okay. Oh God. Ugh. Why okay? Why couldn't she just talk to Reed Richards and um, talk to the to the superhero leaders and say, "Listen, this is what's going on. I'm telling you guys this now. We need like Avengers. You need to get your stuff together and start endorsing mutants." Because, they would spear, because then they would probably spearhead it, spearhead the uh, like not not this specifically, but like anyone that finds out about that, then they're going to spearhead taking away like taking care, taking care of mutants because that almost always happens. Oh, so they, seems, they have no fan. They have no friends. No, they don't have no friends. Florida. I just think they have more enemies than friends that would happen from that kind of information. She's really petty. She's extremely petty and power hungry. I mean, well, she did. Well, I mean, Destiny did put fire, like, like make her go on fire. So I like, you know, that's and she and Destiny specifically said, like, make it like slow so she remembers it. So you know what? I can, I can kind of see where she's no, but I mean, from. Not, not just petty towards Destiny, petty towards the Avengers, petty towards everyone, even mutant kind, I think. I think she wants power in the phalanx, and she'll do anything to get it. Um, That's interesting. Maybe Xavier thinks that, I think Xavier thinks that she's going to make some peace with the phalanx for mutant kind, but in the end, just just based off everything she said in that chapter, it does not seem like, she, it, before that chapter, I would have said, She's mm. die hard for mutant kind. After that chapter, I don't think she likes mutant kind. Yeah. You know what? I all right. I, I I'm going to disagree. I think like she's for it, but she doesn't care about who she hurts in the meantime. She has total tunnel vision. Like she like I think that's why. What we we really didn't really get. Okay, she said that uh, they didn't listen to her. Right uh, when Kokoa got started, which. I don't really see why. I, Charles and Eric aren't that arrogant. If if um, what was going on and X of Swords was going on, you you don't think they would have gone to her? He's like, hey, do you know do you know about this? She would have given them some sort of like a memo, like, hey, watch out for Genesis. She does this. But so why, did, mean, uh, why did what? why did why did Moira? Why did she cause Nimrod to be created? She caused that. No, she's trying to stop it. No, 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 no. It was, it was the, the implication in that chapter was she caused it. They even, I, Xavier, what was even the implication? Xavier thinks to himself or something that had we not pushed so hard, 
it, we would maybe would have got 10 years before Nimrod was created. But because we pushed them so hard, Nimrod was created within a year. You, you think that, she that, caught that, The implication is that Moira wanted Nimrod created sooner. Mm, maybe. So I don't I'm think not she too sure about that. I think Nimrod was coming regardless. Yeah. 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 10 years, of, though, would have gave them tons of time. Look but, at what they've uh, done in one year. Maybe, maybe I, I like I said, like it's like the biggest thing is that it is, it's because it's so ambiguous. But like it's like a yes or no. Like maybe she wanted to push Nimrod. Like maybe maybe she wanted to push him like so like ahead, so he wasn't as complete as he would have been ten years from now. There was a chance that having the mental engrams messed up in him, make him go crazy, kills all humans and mutants. At least, yeah, that yeah, was a well, possibility yeah. with Nimrods. That is a possibility they go crazy and kill humans too. I mean, we don't even, like Omega Sent. Maybe Omega Sentinel's the reason why he goes insane. Right. Well, yeah, yeah. It's because yeah, it's because Omega Sentinel is definitely like she is aware that he's aware. So that's an interesting thing too. And also, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Real quick, MJ. Um, with with Omega Sentinel, we never knew. We never found out how. Okay, remember when um uh, she got taken over by Malice right before Messiah Complex. And she was on the Marauders for for a while. We never saw what happened, how they got her, how uh, Malice, uh, how they re removed Malice from Omega Sentinel. I mean, I don't. Know. And that whole thing saying that sent all this like uh, her at this point was all planned from. It was all part of the Sentinel programming. That's a. Uh, yeah, it's I cool. definitely think Omega Sentinel is working with Abigail. That's why that's my theory. Abigail Brand? I yeah. didn't see I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that either. I'm curious though, because why would she work with that? I don't know, because it seems that's interesting. Well, like there's Abigail just so many Brand, pieces going. Hmm? Abigail Brand wouldn't be against working with Orcus as long as Orcus wasn't against killing humans and mutants. Maybe Orcus a faction is, of Orcus. Orcus is Orcus really is they, they definitely are anti mutant. Well, like not yeah. no what Orcus is what was make, make me really confused how they operate is that it's like the Taliban where you could have 20 different cells that are not, they have no central leadership. There's no central leadership. So one cell of the Orcus flower. So imagine a, a Orcus is a flower. One yeah. petal is completely independent of all the other petals. So one petal think, could be led by Omega Sentinel and defect to sword. Do you think that's do you think that's the case though? Because I thought I thought they were pretty much centralized. I don't think I don't necessarily think they're. That's what's looking cells. like now. It is looking like now. But when we first yeah. got, we have a white page showing the Orcus how it's set up, and it was described as being independent of each other. But they, now we have like a city, we have like a capital right. city, which implies leadership. I don't like. And also, a Corey, also, Corey, chime in at any time. <laughs> you know? yeah, seriously, um, <laughs> how do you feel, man? <laughs> Um, I like the idea that Abigail Brand might be talking to Omega Sentinel, but like my thing is like, what would be Brand's leverage for Omega Sentinel? What would, Freedom. What would be her leverage? Oh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Humankind. Uh, the idea um, is that mutant kind is surpassing humankind, but a powerful human faction could contend with mutant kind potentially. As long okay. as not like Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Excalibur. I was just like, man. All right. <laughs> that that yeah. was my feel. Um, I'm just really waiting for who's gonna take over the book next. I'm like, okay, they're fighting. They're they're fighting Wahaha Merlin and dumbass King Arthur of this world. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. I like. Um, uh, I want to believe that, like, you know, Mystique and Destiny won't, like, blow their win, but <laughs> after all of what you all have taught me about Mystique and Destiny, I'm like, well, anything could happen, but I do like, and I'm slowly warming to the idea of what if it's Moira who just le leads to the fall of Krakoa because she's like, none of you have listened to me at all about anything. You all don't deserve this. 
but but Moira just said like if that's Moira like it's not like she's a spoiled brat who wants like I want all the attention but don't tell anybody I'm I'm the I'm the secret I'm the invisible hand like well, it's, it's possible she thinks she can never die maybe she thinks that she'll never truly die maybe she thinks destiny was full of shit and she'll have a thousand lives or maybe like she or she wanted to keep destiny away because like she does think that she can never never die unless destiny finds her. Uh, so two more things I wanted to bring up with Moira is yeah. two of the other three reasons I think lead me to believing her to be against mutant kind. It's her two big decisions mm-hmm. that she's made that have effect that, that Xavier and Magneto have been trying to fulfill. And the first one was, or I guess, no, I guess the first one they didn't try fulfilling. The first one was she did not want Mr. Sinister in Krakoa. Mm-hmm. That means no resurrection protocol. Uh, no, not necessarily. That means that no, like the resurrection protocol could, could still be there. Just Mister Sinister, where they went, like wouldn't be a part of it. He, 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 he could still make it, but he just wouldn't be like there. Which yes, you'd have to offer him something incredible for that. You'd have to be like, I know what I know what you would offer him a better cape, Cuba. <laughs> yeah, better. Oh, like, like, but MJ, the, the thing about it is, you, uh, Moira may not want Mister Sinister on Krakoa, but they needed him on Krakoa because are you seriously? Are you going to let Mr. Sinister just be all off out in the world, not knowing what he's doing? That was just a way of keeping an eye on him. That's that's, that's a very good point. But like the, to me, though, the biggest one is if she did not want anything to do with Mr. Sinister, then maybe she didn't want Unikind to have resurrection. If she didn't want to have resurrection, then I don't think she wants them to win the final war. We don't know what her intentions are. At yeah, we don't. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the. I see what you're saying, but like we just don't know what it is. Like so far, it seems like the biggest thing we have. I mean, well, unless you want to give us give us a second point before. Oh I yeah, the second point. one is yeah, destiny. Yeah. I think yeah. destiny is a major checkmate in winning the final war. She doesn't. Mm-hmm. If she doesn't want them to win the final war, she wouldn't want them to have these Mister Sinister Destiny, these pawns that could win the final war for them. But but uh, MJ, here's the mm-hmm. thing though. Everything about Mystique and Destiny have been bitten off off of somebody else, namely Magneto. They bit off uh, his name, uh, his group name. They bit off his cause. They like we don't know what do they really want. Yeah, at this point, yeah, I really don't know what they want now because like they Mystique got what she wanted. She got Destiny, and she didn't have to put the put her on on, on the council. She did she she, she, she did that just cause. So like she got what she wanted, even though like they promised her that like she it should have just been oh, destiny oh like I got destiny back that should just be like GG good game but no she she actively put her on the council now so like now okay now what you want because you but you guys yeah. agree though that chimeras and precognition are assets for the final war uh we know that I won't say I don't know about precognition but we do know that well let me say this. I don't think precognition is an asset because the big thing about precogs is that they would know that this doesn't work. Like the whole thing about Krakoa was that it was supposed to be like one giant like dream, baby, 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 like baby, basically. But no one was supposed to know that oh, this is doesn't work because that's what Xavier and Magneto said. Hey, this is, like we know that this, that, that this doesn't work, but like give this to them now so we can build up to make, making sure that this does work ultimately. Now the chimeras, I definitely think are. I definitely think are going to be important because, well, we've seen it before. We've seen it be important, like the last two, Cardinal and Rasputin. For all we know, um, there were more of them, or maybe it's because it's because of the Chimeras working so well, like like that kicked off the uh, uh that kicked off Nem Nem Nem. Sorry, that kicked off Nem Nem. Yeah, damn it, Nimrod. There we go. It kicked off Nimrod. Um, a, 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 damn it, a, attacking. I don't know why I keep stuttering, but uh, yeah. But we don't know. Like I said, it's just it's it's all speculation at this point. I would argue um, that they're yeah. lying. That she, I think, her Xavier and Magneto are propagating a lie. That the reason right. they don't want precognitions is because they never win. I, I think that's just a lie that they're telling. Really? I don't. Think that, mm. I don't I, maybe that's the truth, but that that's the truth because Moira's planning to not win. Well, mm. well also you got to also here's the thing about precogs. Um, they see every eventuality. Yeah, they're useful. Some of them, uh, some, some of them do. Some, some of them don't. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, some of them do. Some yeah. Of them. I, I, um, if you remember uh, from Destiny's uh, diaries, she had one idea sprout out into a hundred different uh, areas. So we don't know, like, yeah, they can, yeah, precogs are, are, uh, are useful, but at the same time, 
they just blurt out stuff like, oh, um, you're going to, oh, you better be careful. If you uh, take over the old Stone Mountain, um, the Sentinels are coming. I'm like, we don't, we're not even doing that. Right. Worse is when they are fucking are, are so convoluted that you right. don't fucking understand it. It's a fucking riddle, man. Like, well, yeah. Like, the, the, the girl who walks through walls will not be able to walk through that one wall. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, monogamy? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay, marriage to Colossus? <laughs> the oh. wall of marriage. <laughs> no, it's just I don't like Destiny and Mystique. I don't trust <laughs> I don't trust Mystique because insert but Do you the, trust Xavier? Huh? Do you trust Xavier? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not too like I, I trust them more. I trust Xavier more than I trust Moira and Mystique. I'll say that much. Yeah, he's yeah. altering minds, though. He's literally altering minds. Yes. He's, he's done yeah. so many shady things, Xavier. And yet, and yet, with that, I still trust him more than Moira and and <laughs> Mystique. No, 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 yeah, I'll give you this. I'll give you Mystique, but Destiny. What has Destiny done to not earn your trust? She killed. She freaking burn somebody. <laughs> she freaking. No, she killed who? Killed Robert Kelly's wife. The oh, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's a hot and, and, like, When has Destiny ever been useful except as a backstory for Mystique? I'll yeah, wait. That was a red con itself, honestly, her being useful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're wrong. Um, like, in, in plus, I, if you, oh, sorry, real quick. Also, like, with Destiny, she, um, all right, yeah, she killed Moira in the third life. Who killed Moira? Who does everybody think killed Moira in this life? I'll give you a minute. killed in this, in this one? Yeah. I don't, wait, how we do? Oh, crap, that's a good point. Maybe she just died. No. Nope. I'm not sure yet. She died, she died 20 years ago at the hands of Mystique. Mystique oh, killed her? Yes. Well, or when was that, like, was like, when, when was that shown? Uh, this was um, during Claremont's run. It was days of future now um, oh okay Jeez. Nice. surprise yeah. um her son is so fine with him be her being on the quiet council and all that yeah but nightcrawler <sighs> who's son right, i'm sorry i'm gonna say what it is kurt's kind of a pussy like yeah that yeah that one that was out of character for me yeah because he want like he gives mystique so many chances this is the woman who Every interaction they ever had has been cutting, has hurt his self-esteem. But he still wants reminds me, yeah. He's like, still love me. Like he's like Dakin trying to get Wolverine's love. I love right, it reminds me of uh it reminds me of Billy and Mandy with Jeff the Spider and Billy. Like <laughs> I'll be anything you want me to be dead. I want you to be dead. <laughs> but I'm I'm saying like Mystique, I mean night Kurt. Kurt Wagner should have been quiet. He should have been like, yeah, you don't want to hear what I have to say. That's the thing, too, because there's all really contradiction because, like, don't forget, Mystique said that, well, one, we don't know what Mystique, like, bribed Emma Frost with. Now, hopefully they, like, it literally was a MacGuffin because, like, we don't know. Hopefully it'll be revealed soon. But, like, Mystique said to uh, Sebastian Shaw, uh, Shaw, it's like, wait, because he goes, like, why would I vote, like, uh, vote yes? Because Mystique, well, I mean, because Emma will vote no. And then he voted yes. And then Emma's voted yes too, so he should have been like, "Wait a minute, I vote no." Like, like, wait a second, <laughs> why to me? <laughs> oh, like, but he just, but he didn't say anything. I was like, "Well, that's weird." I, like, <laughs> I really liked how I really like how Kitty um, was the what like this is like the one time I ever agreed with Kitty. It's like no, no, no. and even Storm was like, "Hell no." <laughs> Yeah, I know, but that's what I know. That's the that's interesting because if I remember correctly, Kitty voted yes to bring in back Scarlet Witch, but then Mystique voted no. So, yeah, but I mean, like, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, no, not Mystique, not Storm. Storm, Storm, Storm voted, but Storm voted no, right? But here's the thing though Storm and Kitty and and Crawler, they all know Destiny, so it's like, no, 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 we're not bringing her back. Like we're not bringing back that old blind woman. He, all she does is make racial racial remarks to Storm, because I think she would. <laughs> no, just oh, yeah. She, she she 
Raven and Mr. Essex would maybe get antiquated racial because they're technically out of time Victorians. Mm-hmm. It'd be really um, like I think Destiny would because like she she would want to get under uh storm skin because Mystique doesn't like Storm. And so she, and, and Destiny is kind of like a girlfriend chameleon. So it's like if you don't like her, I don't like her either. That's what I was so right. Sorry, go ahead, Silver. I oh, know I was gonna bring up the second, like the second, not second, like 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 the next topic about what happened with Emma now. Oh right, 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 right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I know I was just gonna say like now, like now we have a third person because like like because but like but believe it or not, like the cover was not Xavier or Magneto, it was Emma Frost, and we thought and I thought Emma was gonna be more prominent in this comic, and she kind of wasn't, and she kind of was. So <laughs> I just don't understand so like. Now, Emma, uh, sorry, go for it. Sorry. Well, no, that's the thing. I just like the fact I like that hubris because Emma is like known for like manipulating people, but she oh what oh which but she hates when she's manipulated. And I was like, ha ha. What if she? Re- well, how was she manipulated though? I don't understand because, that. No, because they straight up lied to her. Well, I think that was actually. I think that was well, maybe a little. Yeah, maybe they lied to her, but I yeah. think that's actually more of a point to what what uh, what you've been saying, uh, Elroy. Well, you've been saying this whole time that like everything in the last 80 years of comics is leading up to this. They're trying to make it all relevant. So right. the idea is that she's been manipulated for decades, not just since House of X, but before House of X. Right. And I think that's what they're getting at. Yeah, I, I understand that. But like, really, Emma's mad because she got because uh, she found out that something that she thought was true wasn't true when she's okay. like the of doing this this is not right this is not mad this is this is something so this is something crazy like this is something she's she's learned something that it's fundamentally broken her her idea she used to be hopeful for for koa i don't think we're gonna get that from her no more yeah Yeah, well i think she still wants to work for the show like she's still she still has this thing of working for the children but i still like i said i just think it's more of the fact that oh you lied to me and i'm like but you like almost your entire like persona is a lie. So I'm just like, come on, like, can you really yeah. get hurt? Yeah. Um, the whole gen- the whole murder of her first batch of kids before she split, you know, changed her programming completely. But it still is Miss the White Queen doesn't like being left out of anything. She's right. always she doesn't like being left out of anything. Boo, boo. So, yeah. Sorry. That, I'm sorry, Emma. I don't care about your white woman tears. Like, and, and, and everybody talks about her first group of students who got killed. What about her second group? They were okay. Generation X made it out. Only one kid died under her care. Know, wait, like, what about ne- like Negasonic Teenage Warhead? Like, like the old version of her, like, like, not like, like new Deadpool version. Like, she died too. Like, that, that, like, that affected her. Yeah, no, no, no. That that was that was the third class. Yeah, that's that's even worse. <laughs> I would, no, I would argue that, that the, the Hellfire Trading Company is like the most important for Cohen agency, and, and she pretty much kind of leads it. She has Kitty's vote most of the time. I know. Yeah. Like pretty, yeah. So they should they shouldn't lie to her. She's literally she's probably third most important person right, but then by that council? i suppose so but then by that logic why lie to cyclops because he's like he's straight up like for a long time he was a captain commander of, of kokoa he he should know like like i'm just saying he should know storm storm doesn't know what's going on and she and she's like the queen of a whole planet i'm just i'm just like 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 how far are we gonna take this i'm with you yeah like the big thing with what happened with the white queen and inferno is now we have to start talking about it's not a matter of if she'll talk to Scott and Jane. It's a matter of when she's going to tell Scott and Jane. Yeah. She's not going to talk. She's not going to tell Jane. Nothing. Yeah, Nightcrawler should like Nightcrawler should know because because he's because he's making a whole religion based off of Kokoa. Like, hey, it's it's a lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I I think Corey's right. I think she's going to Emma and scott eventually not emma she's going to gene and scott eventually because like well chiefly scott if she wants to include emma and i i mean gene and all this she will but scott's the big thing because we've known what 
we've seen what happens when he gets disillusioned and stuff when he brought out that yeah. costume with the ex. If my theory is correct and she wants to make a deal with the phalanx, that means there's no future for the children. So yeah. that, 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 that the line for the children, she's going to play mm-hmm. the, double, the, the, the double agent, the triple agent or whatever, but ultimately she's not going to be for anything that has them merging with a phalanx. That's not a future for the children. Right, she's I, I understand that, but with with Emma though, like, I'm sorry, I'm I'm like she's not that important. She's never has been yeah. that important. Like the uh, only reason, the only reason why she got that got the status of where she was is because Jean died, mm-hmm. and because she was banging Cyclops. I guess it is it is all about who you who you're sleeping with. That's even funny too because like. Uh, Cyclops did basically what Xavier did. He gave someone a chance that was like a bad guy because he like the same thing happened with Rogue, and people were worried about that. And then Cyclops gave. Now, granted, I will be fair. Like it's not, it's no secret that because like part of the reason he did that was because he was having sex with Emma Frost. But it's still like the principle of the matter that hey, I'm giving her a chance because she can change, and she she's become one of the bigger assets to uh, the X Men. Ar- arguably better than Jean, honestly, because you know she's lived longer than her. But. Um, <laughs> 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 it's true though <laughs> like so just like my default <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but the x-men have a history of bring of rehabilitating uh former villains rogue is probably the best example of that like uh, at least yeah Magneto, like, but that's when but, but that took cyclops too true polaris i guess and in- no no polaris was one of them in the beginning i want you i want you ask doctor uh, no, she was an X Men at first, and then she got okay. over, and then she got yeah. Well, I meant I meant reforming a villain. Oh, oh uh, no, she wasn't. She wasn't a villain. She got taken control of by uh, Malice. Oh, okay. So like mind control. Her and Havoc have a whole history of being on teams where they're mind controlled. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, no, because I mean, I guess it's easy when you like when uh, you have a. It's almost within. I guess, damn it. Because that once again that doesn't make sense now. Well, it kind of does, but kind of doesn't. Because like seriously, Marvel, like I don't know, make Pietro and Wanda re- like related to Magneto again. It works, but um specifically because like of, of the whole men of the uh, whole psychosis thing. But Polaris also has psychosis as well. So maybe like maybe that's a, a thing of like it's easier to control people who have you know mental problems like to begin with. But I don't, I don't understand where Habit's mental problems came from because he, I mean. He was raised by a good family. He wasn't abused like Scott was. If anything, Cyclops should be, be should be more susceptible. I think, that's to be, I think that's supposed to be like a commentary on his powers because his powers are somewhat unstable. Mm-hmm. But like like in the kind what, of the beginning, like they're oh, good. What's his experience at the orphanage? Oh, uh, at Havocs? Mm-hmm. Oh, he yeah. got picked up. He got adopted really quickly because he was so young. Yeah, he, Cyclops uh, he was raising. Home. Yeah, he was. Uh, Havoc was raised in Hawaii. Yeah, the implication is that something them. bad happened there. When he was at the orphanage, he was having like panic attacks and invoking something happened to him at that orphanage. No, not at all. Uh, Cyclops, Cyclops had all that stuff happen to him. Cyclops had that yeah. stuff, and it was on purpose because his or because the person that was running the orphanage, the start of orphanage, was Mister Sinister. It, and the, like, like Cyclops had everything but being molested happen to him at that orphanage. Honestly, I know. Like, wait for them to come back. Like, wait for them to come back. Like, oh, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, he got molested by Mister Sinister. You're like, yeah, probably. <laughs> but um, uh, but, so there's one thing I want to bring up. Um, can you guys see that? Is that? Uh, oh yeah, when Mystique. Uh, totally just played the five. Yeah, that was you, that was brilliant. So the theory going around is that that's how Hope brings Scarlet Witch back. Is that now she has her own helmet, so basically she doesn't need Xavier for anything anymore. She can do it uh, herself, hundred percent. Yeah, well, well, yeah, that'd be fine too. But like that, does that mean that? Does that mean that this happened after? No, this happened before uh, Trial of Magneto. This happened at the yeah, wedding, at the, or, or, or or concurrently. Oh, this happened. If before, that theory yeah. is true, if the theory is true, that's what it is. 
I personally don't think it's true. I think uh, Scarlet Witch brought herself back, but that is the theory going around with it. I don't. I suppose so, but I don't know. It seems like, like particularly with, with like, because we're on what number three, number three or four of, of Trial of Magneto, three or four, three. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, so we're on three right now. Uh, like it kind of goes both ways. Don't forget, like the biggest thing that's throwing me off is the fact that Mystique said, "Oh, this is like she was in the bushes or she was in the trees." Like this is getting in- interesting. I'm like, why are you here? Right. <laughs> It's like, do you have anything? It, it, you know, but that's that's mystique though. You just assume that she's watching because she has right. But the, but to the tree thing, but the tree thing would make sense once again if we had a nice editor. But the tree thing would would make sense because she was because there is a panel where she's in the trees where she where she where she pretends to be Magneto. I'm like, oh, like that works. I think. It, so let me see. It happened. It's. I just don't get it. Here, I, I have it up too. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. She yeah, used it to get the helmet. Work. She must have stolen yeah, there, there Magneto's go. helmet. I'm guessing yeah. there's a bunch of Xavier helmets around the place, and just, one of them was I in know. the house. Of I just love the fact that, like, if you read Giant Size X Men for Magneto, like, pretty much the only reason you read it was to just know what the set piece was. <laughs> this house looks really weird. I would have thought Magneto would have a really cool house. It looks. I mean, I mean, just. I but what, 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 like, what, like, what do you give to the man that has everything? Give him a giant M, like McDonald's sign house. How about, giant how about, him, how about bring back his wife? Uh, Wait, which one? Oh, uh, Magda. Okay. Bring back, bring back. Wait, her. Like, I was like, I was like, hey, wait, man, what are you t- talking about? Like, like, Rogue's on the island. <laughs> Wasn't he hitting on someone just a little while ago? Uh, he was with, yeah, he he was with a human. I forgot her name, but he was with a human uh, in the in the Blair. Magneto series. Her name was Blair something. Uh, Blair something, right? Yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, her. Yeah. Recently though, like this sometime this year, he hit on someone. I have no idea what you're talking about. It might have been either, was it was it at the gal or something? I know Xavier was hitting on somebody. Yeah, he was hitting on his ex. Um, hey, hey, what? hey. oh, like Lalonda, great ex. Mind you, age appropriate. Fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember who it was. It was. Um, Cora. I don't know, why, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm thinking Cora oh. of the Bleeding Heart, but <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, uh, so I guess we can move on from. Uh, yeah, <laughs> from uh, Colossus. Um, Last thing is Colossus. Like the question, like in my like when I first saw him, like oh it's Colossus. And I was like oh no it's Colossus. Then I was like why Colossus? Like all three of those hit. Like <laughs> yeah, um, his estranged older brother. I don't know if I don't know if that girl in the last X Force issue was um the girl who was helping with the flowers, but. I'm like, no, 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 don't get close to her, sir. Peter, Peter, you just broke her damn neck like a Q-tip. <laughs> right. He lined her. Oh, this <laughs> this one thing I'm actually really confused about. What's up? Okay. Um oh just oh just one <laughs> with this comment. <laughs> okay, uh, so so we see Cypher, right? That's, that's that chick or Sage? That, that's yeah, Sage, right? That's sage, yeah. That's Sage. Or maybe mm-hmm. that's Mystique. I don't know, because this shit that happens. Yeah, that is Mystique. She then becomes like other people, other people. Yeah, that, yeah, that's mistake. Oh, okay. She okay. Becomes, All right, let me. She, let becomes me. One of the, she becomes one of the Orcus people. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing at Orcus. She then leaves. Okay, let me explain that. Because it was classified. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Mystique, Mystique thought she was so smart. She, like, it looked like she was going to find Emma, but she found Orcus and she was like, huh. Orcus, that's interesting. Not knowing that Mystique was in the apartment right below them. <laughs> right. That's you mean Moira. Yeah, I, I know you mean Moira. Moira, I'm sorry. Moira was yeah. More. That is smart. That is really, really smart. Of Moira. The weird thing is too. Not smart. I'm confused as fuck. What do you mean Moira is right below? <laughs> Moira. Oh, uh, remember and. No, and and uh, and no, and um, and Inferno One, I believe, it showed that like that the two gates are like there's two gates that, that are right under each other, like one, like like the Moira Grid is right under another gate. Right, and that gate leads to no place, 
No, it leads. I think it it's a gate be, that goes. I think it's a gate that leads somewhere. It doesn't actually let you go back. I think that's. The, I think that. Mario like, I think that's lives the in the no place though. Hmm? Well, surely that gate leads to Mora's no, no no place. That one does it. That one's just like a regular gate. Oh, Moira's no place gate is is like what Silver said. It's in the floor right below. Right. So it identifies as one. So also, when, by the way, I don't even know. Like, I would, like I kind of have like even think about it now. I kind of have an issue with that because if it's like what well, I mean, I don't like. Shouldn't they have some kind of like scanner that says, "Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you have an X gene"? <laughs> like, should that be a thing? <laughs> I mean, like. Uh, Dr. Doom and Excalibur say, like, hey, there are ways around it. I suppose so. I'm just like, but that's the thing that you should, I feel like as a writer, you, 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 you should at least mention it. That's a Hickman, too. I'd be like, Hickman, you know, you can just said like, oh, she had like a, no, because even, even if she had a, an X gene dampener, she wouldn't be able to transform. So, yeah, I don't even know. That being like, I'm just saying, if you're an organization that wants to stop a certain group of people with, 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 like, with a certain kind of power, you would probably like have a scanner that says, oh, this person that you're trying to like, you know, e e erase has just, that and they're like right here. Just 24 hour dampeners is all you need. Well, that, you know? but how would she, yeah, but, but how would she be able to transform though is the question. No, exactly. Have, have a 24 hour dampener in these facilities, Orcus. And that's another fall ahead in the Hellions, real quick, is that the, uh, there's some like special forces team and they didn't use anti news mute. They didn't use anti-mutant technology. They just use fucking knives and, and guns. <laughs> anti-mutant. No, a knife is anti-mutant because I'm like, because I'm anti-mutant and I'm using this technology. <laughs> what, what, it, it was sad that the, it felt like that stupid ass cartel that fought the new mutants with anti-mutant yeah. technology. It felt oh. like they were more powerful than Orcus special forces. They got it, but, cause, cause they, got, they got it illegally. The mm -hmm. legal legion? Uh, and so no, the, um, no, 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 I'm talking no, way no, back no, like from, years ago no, when the, the new mutants units. fought the cartel. Yeah. When the new mutants fought the cartel, and they were trying to kill Beak or whatever. The cartel shows up and they had anti mutant technology. They stole oh, like, right, 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 right. I remember that because uh because that uh Reddit that Reddit page was uh, posting um mutants was uh giving out mutants uh addresses on Earth. Yeah. I can't remember, yeah. yeah. And it felt like they were more powerful. It felt like they at least they were more like they they are more like pragmatic at least. Yeah. It it. I, wanna... well, I hate this man. Like, why is there a random gate that leads to a random door in Paris? Like, what? Because it's Paris. <laughs> the, every Cocoan gate is it's in the open. Why is it the random gate that leads to a random door? All Cocoan gates. So like in the open, no one they're not hiding them. I don't like this. This is so confusing to me. <laughs> Welcome to and the club. What, she just walks in and then we don't know what happens from there. She leaves. She walks in. I think in, she just I think she leaves. walks out. No, no, did she walk out? Yeah, she walked out, yeah. Yeah, so she, she just, just figured out. out what happened. Yeah, but at least that place exists. Also, yeah. what's with all the monkeys? What's with all these sim uh like these apes? I, don't know. I wanted I wanted I kinda, I want to see oh, Corey. Bill's reaction to this because yeah, he hates monkeys. Oh, damn these Actually, monkeys. I don't think they're monkeys. To be to be fair, I don't, I don't think they're monkeys. They think I think they think they're chimps because they don't have tails. Right, 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 right. right. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't get that. Like, what what's that supposed to be? Like, we've been seeing that. Maybe that's like maybe that's like a tie into a gorilla man and uh and, and Avengers. <laughs> oh, God, that's that's terrible. But it. But knowing Jason Aaron, he will probably do. He will probably use it, and probably say like kind of the original uh, mutants, like. Oh yeah, I know, right? It's a little reminiscent of like the evolutionary. Um, Which they did fight. Evolutionary is a bitch. The high evolutionary, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess it's just basically suggesting that humankind are are, are working on evolution, and that's going to lead to proto humans. Yeah, but it's, it's the high evolutionary though. He's just a he's a um, he's a dollar store Mister Sinister. No, I, I thought that would hit. I thought that would hit. Mister Sinister, well, like I don't know. I like I don't know. I don't know if he's dollar store because he has a lot of pretty cool powers. I I would I would want them to do like <laughs> I want them to do a science off. That'd be kind of cool. Can you? Imagine? It seems like the the evolutionary when he attacked. His, his 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 soldiers were kind of silly 
but they almost defeated the X Men. It was only a seven not, team. I mean, and they. I'm and not they, sure. They, sure. I'm not sure Mr. Sinister's first generation chimeras will achieve that. Right. Fair. I just I just I just think that uh the high evolutionary he cha- he he I, I think the whole thing with Wanda and Pietro is just a lie on his point on his part. He he's saying like, oh yeah, I changed the DNA in like because he wasn't getting all the attention. Because anytime right. Anytime with Wanda and Pietro before Magneto, he was always a focal point in their past. But ever since Magneto got it, he's like, no, me, I'm the one. I did this. I took in your mother and then hit her. I hit her, <laughs> hit her not hit her, hid her. Hid her, right. <laughs> and I, I it sounded wrong. <laughs> I, I definitely don't think he created scarlet witch but he, he maybe he made yeah. her more powerful or, or not. i think yeah no and uh no, no, i think I, I i know in uh uncanny avengers uh volume two they pretty much they always said like no like i kidnapped you as children and i messed with your dna and then like it was by rick remender person speaking I, I, I believe it was only like five issues long funny enough but they like that book pretty much was just like saying oh here's the reason why uh, Wanda and Pietro are no longer the children of Magneto, and like they they specifically established, no, it was the high it was the high evolutionary that like that was so good at DNA that it made him think that that uh, they were X Men or like that they had an X gene. So the high evolutionary is the Maximoff Mister Sinister. Right, so they've they've reckoned that many times, and I recall yes, a further retcon that was established that had he never had. So she has three <laughs> different powers I can think of. I'm thinking she has her birth powers, which make her natural affinity because of her ancestors, her natural affinity to be a sorcerer. She oh, has what, what the evolutionary did to her, making her more powerful. And then we have the third element, which is shoot. There was the, the demon god Chuan or whatever, who gave her like the dark hold and dark powers, chaos powers. Like she has three sets of powers that made her even more powerful. No wonder right. maybe like that's his triple, dog. A tri- triple, su- no, not Susan. Triple Mary Sue. <laughs> triple Mary Sue. No, it's, no, it's not Mary Sue because she can still die. <laughs> Unless she resurrected herself. She is not resurrected herself. As we know. Then explain her talking to an old version of herself while dead. That's just. It could just be a different version of her. I mean, what hey. happened when resurrection? From, from, what, from what we understand in everyone else's resurrection, when they resurrect, they don't talk to an old version of themselves. Right. Yeah, that's exactly, which probably means that she wasn't resurrected that way. Or which we know that. that. Either she resurrected herself or someone else, I guess, maybe Magneto found a different way. Or, or right. they like this, uh, the multiverse, uh, anybody could be talking to anybody at any time. So like well, right. well yeah well I mean based yeah based on what I remember from that they basically said like oh she would it would have had to been someone that she knew that would have been able to kill her or at least someone that could have counter her powers because it was because it came out of nowhere and I'm like well technically speaking one of the people that could counter her powers is her yeah. <laughs> and and I I think I have to go back I think old I forgot what they like old witch wand I think think that's what they want to call her like I forgot what the name was I like I think she was wearing white so that would work with the cape. Yeah, I, I like that, and it's definitely not Magneto because she said no. When, when Magneto said I killed her, she, the first thing she said was no. When she came right. down, but so that the implication gets, is but no. That's a different version of one, but, like that's a different version of one because she doesn't remember like being married to Vision. Or wait, I know, I, I think she no, I think she doesn't remember that Vision's been married to someone else. Right, but I think that's what she said. It's been it's been a little, it's been a little bit as you can see. That's actually a good point. I don't know what memory she has, but she did, she said no to that yeah. though. Yeah. So I guess yeah. maybe she maybe she just thinks that her father could never kill her, so she's saying no. There's no way my father could do it. I guess, but she did say no. I do remember that. I think I have it right here. Yeah. But uh, like yeah, just pull it out. out. And then out of nowhere, kaiju battle. <laughs> oh um, oh yeah. My my wife says hello, gentlemen. <laughs> hello. Hey. If you were on the channel, you would understand this. Why? It's just nice to see people that you talk to. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, she is wearing white. Yeah, let's see. Now, what's it called? An axe was given. They find with an axe. Yeah. Okay, so she's wearing a white cape. That's why I didn't remember. So she's wearing a white cape, but then also she's wearing like her old school outfit. And it is old lady Wanda, not old witch Wanda, even though I think old witch Wanda sounds better. <laughs> oh, witch Wanda. Uh, like, I, I just, were you guys, all right, with all the books ending, we got like, we have a Marauders ending, we have Excalibur, yeah. Hellions ending. Um, the only ones that we don't know for sure are X-Men, Sword, New Mutants, X-Force, and Wolverine. That's it. How do you guys feel about that? Like, we got five books. I was okay with eight. They've been slowing down for two weeks recently, and so I guess it's probably yeah. best so that we don't feel like it's a month between one issue of Marauders and the next issue, or a month and a half. Hmm. Uh, also, like, this is just me, but is anybody is anybody still wondering why X Men Legends is still a thing? Because when it came out, we thought we we're gonna get some big time uh, resolutions to some dangling uh, plot points, and so far we've just been getting like old writers just yeah. their stories. Sorry, real quick. So the exact line yeah. is, uh, yeah. "I murdered the Scarlet Witch," and then she says, "I have to." I'm afraid I have to disagree. <laughs> no, because we got to remember, because in, in the beginning of that issue, um, um, Magneto was told by Hope, you got, you can't let them find her body. You got to, you got to distract them. So everything, he's saying, everything he's saying is a distraction, which I don't really trust the five either. They I don't trust. Because like, because of the way Hope, what Hope was doing with Xavier, saying, oh, you're torturing him. Yeah, I'm really torturing him, looking through his memories. That's not torture. Stay in your lane. You want to be sink? <laughs> what, what, she, what, she, what, is that, am I wrong? Does she, have, like, if sink was alive at the, when she was born, she would be redundant. A lot of people are redundant. And like when it comes to like a lot of a couple of X Men are just kind of redundant when it comes to their power sets, but I I did I did I did get what I did get what you mean. I think Sing, I think the big thing about Sing is that he makes people's power, he can he can do their power better than they can. Technically speaking, I don't think I don't, I, I don't think Hope can do that. I think she can just copy. No, Hope is intrinsically her power makes other people's powers better. Like she when she takes a power, she takes mm-hmm. it at the hundred percent or 110 percent. Sink what's different about him is that he's so experienced with other people's powers that he can already access their their fullest potential. Whereas he does it through experience, she does it just because of her powers. So that- she's lesser than that. You know, I guess if she achieved the same greatness that Sink can do, then I guess she would be more powerful than Sink. But um, yeah, but like we see what we see what Sink can do. Sink he can take powers from people that. You know, like yeah, you can take powers from people that don't have the extra gene. Exactly. Absolutely. No, absolutely. I I agree. It's just that uh, you're right. This is the reason Hope was picked to help terraform or uh, Mars. She yeah. can amplify your powers. She doesn't just she doesn't just copy it. She, she amplifies it. A sink was still in the vault. That's why. <laughs> No, sink yeah, was they, yeah, no, yeah, that is kind of funny. It seems like the only reason to, because no. he wasn't there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sink was out for the terraforming of Mars. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, he just got back. He just yes. got back, and he didn't. No, listen, if he would have been in a better case for that, they would have used him. Sink does not amplify the power, so she amplified Omega level powers, making them beyond Omega level to terraform a planet. Well, let me say that. He does not amplify them, but technically speaking, technically speaking, what he does, what he can do is take someone who is there and then may, then do their power better than they can. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I do think so, he right. would have made terraforming easier if he had a third set of hands, for sure. Um, but she was able right. to take an omega then, level power and boost it. So that's that's just... I still, and then technically speaking, I think he said this before, technically, right, and then technically speaking, what he can do is like, he can go next to multiple men, then make a bunch of him, and then like each one of them has a role. Essentially. And I still don't really understand why um, uh, 
damn it, I, I had it. Oh, sorry. I, I, I don't understand why they can't just like take a couple, couple telekinetics, have sync right there, and push the Orcus base into the sun. It should be easy. Like, there you go. It wouldn't. It, would, it could not just be sync. It would have to be everyone. You would have to take Cora the, of the Burning Heart. The, the, the person she replaced, I can't remember his name. Oh, uh, Fabian Cortez. Fabian Cortez, mm-hmm. you have to take yeah. Hope, right. all the telepaths, and then together do it. Maybe, but I, I'm thinking that it's just power dampening. No amount of, if you have 100% power dampening, 110 does not beat that. 100%. Yeah, but you, get another, but you get another mutant who's more as creative as, creative as Sync is. I think right. You can make something, or at the very least, throw in a virus. Like, okay, get a <laughs> get a get a space. Uh, get a um, get a ship. Put in all the power dampeners and telekinetics on this. Get them as close to orcas as they can. Do their thing and just push it. Push it. There's many options. You could teleport. I say we know. take the orca ship and push it somewhere else. <laughs> You could tell you could teleport Magneto onto the Orca station and just have him suicide it. You can uh, have Vulcan suicide it. You can have. You don't have to do that, honestly. Um, so what he could technically do is just go on Orca ship and then just break it apart. Right. You know, you know what's the most disappointing Omega level? Mm. Fucking Jamie okay. Braddock. No, nah, he he gave birth, to bro. He gave birth. How dare you? He he gave birth to a ship. <laughs> he took it the wrong way. And did it made it even hilarious? Wasn't he being enhanced at that moment though? Wasn't Hope no. enhancing him? No, that was just him. Uh, <laughs> still though, in, in combat, in other world where his magic should be even more powerful, he's, he's he does nothing. Does nothing. <laughs> True. No, so I mean, you I mean, would man. think he could fight a whole army by himself, and then put him in a place where where. Reality is what you make of it. Other world reality is what you make of it, and then have a reality whooper in that reality. He should be so powerful, and we haven't seen him do anything besides what is what has he done in other world? Um, he's a wall. Not, he's he's gotten a better cape. That's true too. Create a wall. You think that's what he did in Excalibur? This comic. I mean, like, he's uh, he was keeping reality together while um while Shogo was um. Was uh, melting everything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Just, I, Warper, he could have just created a wall. Like, why did he have to create a trench? Couldn't he just create the, the Game of Thrones wall? Because people can climb over a, a wall. Make it a dome then. Yeah. Well, then with a trench, they can just flood it and just. Okay, then a, a sphere. <laughs> so it's up and down. I don't really know what that is. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, all in all, the X Men, the X Men, they're in a really good place. I just think they could be better. Like, yeah, help could. Me still be going on. Uh, X Force needs a new writer. That's why I feel they need a new writer because somebody else could do this better. They need to get Wolverine off. I'm hoping whatever Wolverine, whatever <laughs> is the trials and deaths or whatever Wolverine or whatever the life's and de- whatever. Whatever that is, I hope he decides to leave X Force for a while. He, he can return in ten issues, but get some X-Force new. Get some new blood. Blood. Like, what was that? Sir? Can I have an X Force team with three field members? I don't care how powerful they are. Wolverine. I, I don't disagree. I think there should be a six of them. There should be a full SWAT team. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, there should be more than just those three. Yeah. Who would yeah. you? Who who like so if, if Wolverine gets uh, uh is uh is taken away from X Force, who would you want to lead the X Force and why is it Phantom X? <laughs> I was gonna say uh, Orphan Maker, but okay, <laughs> just for fun. Like let's let's have some fun with it. You know, Domino would have fun with it, and he I, yeah. Is is this offensive to say that? Okay. I'm going to say something, and you guys might get offended in it. You say Bishop, I'm slapping. I, I don't think there should be another <laughs> black person in a position of power. They're, they have like a okay. region of all of Earth and Morocco, uh, Grand Commander. It just feels like it's uh, maybe a little too <laughs> what much. What about, because Manifold is, is Manifold in charge of uh, Sword? He, he's not. He's, no, he's not really in a position of power. 
No, he's just in charge of his department, which is right. like, in charge of the five. Nah, huh? the six. He's part of the six. Probably the leader of the swords team when they go out on missions. No, that I think technically speaking, he is because he's like I don't know. It's just it, it just kind of depends. I don't necessarily. It's kind of like with One Piece. Like like if uh, if Luffy leaves, who's like who's in command? It's like yeah, you know. It's kind of, you know. <laughs> I still think that phone is Bishop's father. That's just me. Yeah, I know. We, we hopefully my, my they fix that, 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 that storyline. So my first instinct for replacing Wolverine was Bedlam, and I'm like, ah, oh, then that's in another person. In I wouldn't mind Bedlam. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind Bedlam just being on the team. Oh, he's on the team for sure, for sure. Like, like have him be the have him be the a POV character. So like you, so we were introduced to X Force through his eyes. It's not, it's not that I want like another white person to be in power, but like let's get a Hispanic in power or an Asian person in power. Like that's, that's what, what, what are you talking about? We got we got like we got a blue lady in charge now. Mystique's yeah. in charge now. Yeah. Like uh Forge, I think he deserves a position of power. Forge, yeah, Forge deserves to be on the team. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that one. Seems well, like weird, well, in power right. of well, that was weird because um because uh, Forge was like, Forge, was, Forge showed up strangely enough in Phoenix and like the Echo Phoenix book for some strange reason. <laughs> it's weird. It seems like Sage is the second in command of X Force, right? It goes BC. No, she's the secretary of X Force. Yeah, like, I think she's more like the information person. person. Beast, though. She contradicted him and he couldn't do anything. She said, We're doing it this way and there's nothing you can say about it. She because, basically implied that she's second in command. No, because she had Emma's backing. Cause like she know, cause like Emma kind of told her like, um, we're gonna get rid of Beast and you're gonna be in charge. Oh, okay, okay, all right. It, implication. It has nothing's been said, but you get. The, I get the idea. They're trying to get rid of Beast, or at least make them equal. I guess maybe, maybe um, I don't know. Cause it's kind of like Abigail. She needs someone overwatching her and. I'm hoping Cable can do that a little more. Oh, Cable! Cable as in charge of X Force would be, yeah, it would be the same thing. It'd be more of the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think B should go to Sword. He's busy. <laughs> who who should go to Sword? Beast. Beast. Yeah. Because Abigail would understand where he's coming from. X Force should be the squad. Should be like the tax force for Sword. You know, when, when Sword has a mission, they they send the five or like the teleporters to send the the the, the force, the X Force. The X Force. I right. they just need to stop using that term. Like we like what what is X Force? Are they a Black Ops team or are, are they the um, you can they see should them. be they, they wholeheartedly should be Black Ops. I think that's how I thought of like that's how I see them as. I, I love that they muted kind of they 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 um they steal so many names. They steal Hellfire Gala, not Hell Gala, Hellfire Club. They steal uh um I didn't Deadpool create the X Force? Oh, in the uh, movie. In the movie, <laughs> right? In the comics? No, I don't think in the comics. No, no X Force was before, yeah. It was before Deadpool. I think he was a part of the team, but I don't. I don't well, I mean, I know, I know he's part of the team. Member. I don't think he started it. It's he said he was a founding member at one point. Founding he member, that, but that doesn't mean he like created it. That just means that he was a part of it. He was part of the book. <laughs> part of the book, yeah. And that was like, and that wasn't the Deadpool that people know and love. It, it wasn't the it wasn't the Rob Liefeld Dead, Deadpool. No, no, that, you, that, that was Rob Liefeld. No, I mean, I know you're the, no, sorry, I know you're the Wilson, Silver, but sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, sorry. No. Okay, sorry. I, I I apologize. The Rob Liefeld Deadpool is the one that like that was part of the team. I mean, like the like like the like the Deadpool that, that people love is not the Rob Liefeld one. It's the, literally the one after like it's literally the one that Rob Liefeld didn't make, but he just takes credit for it because he's like, well, I made the character, so that pretty much means that I I made this personality. They're like, nah, not really. <laughs> really, if anybody's gonna take credit for uh for Deadpool the way he is, Joe Kelly. Joe hmm. Kelly did all that. He's the one who made like. Talking to talking to the audience. And I know it's kind of like who made it? that's kind of I think I think I think Stanley and Jack Kirby made uh made Bucky. That, that that's kind of like saying like oh well Stanley and Jack Kirby made Bucky. So pretty much they made the Winter Soldier. I'm like no, nah, not really. <laughs> it's like, you guys are. Eh, it's just it's just weird. 
right now. What are you saying, MJ? Deadpool is like Wolverine, where they kind of throw him into everything. So I can understand he's having too much of him, but I do feel like he's gone a raw deal with Krakoa. Who? He's not a mutant. They have plenty of non mutants in Krakoa. Name one. Name four. Yeah, I I can name two. (laughs) I don't know about four. Um, I can name two for sure. Um, Which two is it? Shogo and um, Buddy's husband. Um, okay, that's so uh, funny because you could have because you could have said Doctor Strange. <laughs> no, I mean permanently living on Krakoa. Oh, living. Okay. Um, permanently living on Krakoa. There's at least two humans. Um, and, and Buddy implied that there's no real law against more humans living uh, there. North Star's husband is he's human. Yeah. Yeah. North Star's yeah, husband. Those two. So, so he said Shogo and North Star's husband, right? Right. They basically imply that North Star's husband implies that there's no real rule against humans living there. It's not a guideline. <laughs> it's it's a rule. It's it like the it's fact not that a personal rule. No, I mean like the fact the reason why Kyle's there is because if you didn't, you would have to hear North Star bitch about it. And no way wants that. So he's like, oh no, just whatever. Just you get you get a pass. Yeah, let him on. Yeah, because nobody wants to hear North Star complain. It's worse than Quicksilver. I mean, honestly, if anything, that's like kind of a hassle now because like like North Star Alba and and uh and um Travel of Magneto, like no North Star Alba said, like I will like I will sacrifice all of you if it means protecting Tom. Like, geez, like tell me how you really feel. Right? <laughs> like, I don't care about nobody. I don't know. <laughs> you know where I want Deadpool to be on though? What team I want him to be on? Uh, no way he'll be on it because the uh, sword, but there's no way Abigail would be. Why I want her would he be cable. on sword. I want him to interact <laughs> with Cable some more, and Cable would be like, "Why the fuck did she let you on the team? How the fuck did you find me?" <laughs> I think I think the I think the only way that like is if is if Adult Bishop said, "I want Deadpool here." That's the only way. Yeah. You're like, no, I don't want that. Like, I don't just please, that. just please, just keep, just keep, keep Deadpool far away from the X Men. I'm just, I'm like, I'm enjoying this so much. Like don't don't ruin it for me. Like, I love him and Cable, and then the fact that Deadpool showed up for the Summers War, it was just so perfect. That the okay. Jean was like, "Okay, you could fight at the end, but in the beginning, we need you to shut up." So she just knocks him out for half the fight. I think the best, the reason why I love the, uh, I like Deadpool too so much is was because of how the X Men dealt with Kate, uh, dealt with Deadpool. And they're like, "How come there's only two X Men here?" And like, oh, no, no. and you just saw the other X Men like, "Nope." <laughs> Close, close the door right i just love that you could kill him isn't that what gene did she like broke his head with like telepathics so that he, he wouldn't be able to fight i think that's what she did i think she I twisted his head so it's just a dude that the, the most the most noble people can kill on sight because they're like oh he'll be fine hey, hey, whoa, whoa it's deadpool okay he's a he's a merc with a mouth two reasons why you should mm-hmm. kill him he is a mercenary he kills people like let's not let's not take that away from him, and he talks too much. Yeah, no. The, the second one I can understand. The, 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 it's just like they invited him to fight in the Summers War. He says like two words, and she breaks his neck. Yeah, because <laughs> she already knew. Like not even two. Like two words was already too like too much. Right. <laughs> it would have been one thing if she kept, if he kept nagging her or kept interrupting her, but he, he said two words and then thing. Hey, but he kept on talking when he got back. <laughs> but um, okay, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the AKPC this week. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you, Silver. Um, no MJ, Corey, we're bringing you back next week, buddy. Right. This is, this is the Living Memory of the X Men. See you soon. <laughs>